So the heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of his hands. Day after day they pour forth speech. Night after night they pour forth knowledge. There is no speech or language where their voice has not been heard. Their voice goes into all the earth, to the ends of the world. In the heavens he has pitched a tent for the sun, which is like a bridegroom coming forth from his pavilion, like a champion rejoicing to run his course. And here he is, Yahweh, Jesus, Brian Leonard, Go Lightly, Marshall. And we are recording this on September the 24th from Australia. And for all of the uh, rapture readies out there around the world who are still on the earth, um, the rapture has always been a lie. So yeah, I was people to really understand. I'm back. While the deluded Christian waits for my Jesus, which is the image of the beast Jesus created by the Catholic Church and the Zionists and the Protestants, they all have their own Jesus, who will never come because it is a vain imagination fed by demons into the psyche of the people. I who am he is already here, having to drain the swamp of the bullshit everyone is swimming in. The Moses laws of temple worship sacrifice, all totally demonic, I did away with as Jesus. I have returned after 2,000 years to be confronted with the very thing I destroyed at the cross, which was the Babylonian insanity of the invented bullshit which burdened the people of 33 AD. The abomination of desolation standing in the holy lands of Palestine is, however, a microcosm of the world today. The snake of Judaism, which is Satanism, engulfing the earth. Every religion of every sect is based on man's imagination fed by Lucifer and is abominable. Now, Yah says, hear me. This is how stupid the world is. They're praying for world peace and all Jesus to return when I have been here since 1943. My enemy today are the Judeo-Christians, not the Muslims, for they did welcome me. So arrogant and ignorant in their delusion. This is the Judeo-Christians. It is their death sentence. There is no religion in paradise which comes following me as the judge, jury and executioner and your neck is on the line. Then once you and your demons are gone, I will establish my kingdom of God Almighty, the Creator, the Comforter, the Holy Ghost, Wonderful Counselor, Prince of Peace, myself. Remember the Lord's Prayer of 2000 years ago was to get you here to this point in time with me back on the earth. That was the checkmate. It was all over at my conception, which was the first of Nisan in the Hebrew year 5703 or April the 6th, 1943. Now in the Protocols of Zion, number 14, we shall forbid Christ has failed. I'm still here after relentless assassination attempts, starting with my mother by trying to stop her conceiving by the Holy Ghost. I'm not going anywhere, and they know they have lost, having failed to keep me off the internet, let alone the earth. Game, set, and match. In addition, the world has missed entirely what the 23rd of September now was all about. Virgo cannot be seen in Jerusalem, and some idiots are calling for the sun to go dark for three hours, as it supposedly did that at the crucifixion, when in fact it was a red moon not a total eclipse of the sun. Now the book of Revelation is a mystery. The one truth of it is I am here, and the 144,000 being 12,000 each from the 12 tribes of the children of Israel, which were scattered throughout Europe from 722 BC when the king of Assyria let them go. The Isaac's sons, known today as the Saxons, which are the white race from Adam, Adam meaning ruddy of complexion, 
and is why they are under attack from their own Jew leaders like Angela Merkel, implementing the synagogue of Satan's plan to rid the earth of the white race through multiculturalism. The serpent seed, the sons of Cain, have bullshitted the Christian world into supporting them, when in fact they are Esau, Adam, and not of Jacob, Israel, who is myself. Today the ones calling themselves Judeo-Christians are my enemy. They preaching the laws of Moses. I am God, and I am not stupid to not see the sin of a man through the blood of a sacrificed animal. I prefer the company of the animal over the man any day. So let's move on to what really counts. The numbers. Now the first of Nisan is the first day of the first month of the new year in the Hebrew calendar. Now they have two calendars. There's a civil calendar and so they have a new year Rosh Hashanah starting it actually um, it was the 21st of September just a few days ago. But their uh, uh, what religious calendar begins on the first day of Nisan every year. And uh, every year it's a different date in the Gregorian calendar, unlike our calendar, um, which is the same every year. There's varies and out by sometimes up to 14 days. So bottom line is, that there's no other date that could have been possible for God to come to the earth and have the numbers do the revealing. Remember, it's the stars that are talking. And they're talking through the measure of them, the numbers. Nisan is a cognate to the word Nisim in Hebrew, meaning miracles. Nisan is the month of Passover, and the entire month is a prolonged festival. It's the month of redemption the month of the beginning of miracles and the month that sets the course for your future. It's associated with the Hebrew letter H-E-I which signifies praise. Now as Jesus I defeated Lucifer's Torah and its insane laws of blood sacrifice. Since then all of the traditions were eliminated. Judaism had its saviour from the lunacy of Moses' laws. The resurrection on the 5th of April 33 AD in the Hebrew year 3793 is from 3789 in the Hebrew concordance and it means a record described in writing as in what Pontius Pilate had nailed to the cross. King of the Jews being the king of Judah, the tribe of Judah. The first of Nisan, Hebrew year 5703, that number in Hebrew means everlasting end, eternity, ever, evermore, perpetuity, forever, continuing future of future time, of continuous existence, forever, of God's existence. In other words, the moment I was conceived, it was game over. Protocol 14, we shall forbid Christ, was a failure. Subtracting the year 3793 at the resurrection from conception year 5703 is 1910. Greek 1910 means to enter in. Enter into. Daphne go lightly, Marshall conceived by the Holy Ghost. The Zionists had tried to prevent her from becoming pregnant by advising her not to have another child. She had been in St. Margaret's Women's Hospital with the birth of her daughter June on August the 18th, 1938. They diagnosed her with kidney failure and she was retained in hospital for 13 months. Now no more children to a Catholic meant abstinence. But on the 1st of Nisan in the year 5703, she conceived by the Holy Ghost entering into her womb at 2.22 a.m. The date in the Gregorian calendar, the 6th of April, 1943, the 1910th anniversary of the resurrection of 33 A.D. The Virgin Constellation Virgo over Sydney 
at 2.22 a.m. 6th of April 1943 or the 1st of Nissan 5703. This is what it looked like. Now Spiker was over Sydney on that date. Its rise was 17.57 and set at 6.54 for a total of hello 777 minutes. So on that date, April 6, 1943, in Sydney, over Sydney, Australia, one planet was with Virgo in the night sky. That was Mars, rising in the east within Capricorn. Hello, Yah was born in Capricorn. Mars represents Michael, the warring archangel, predicting my rebirth on January the 11th within Capricorn of 1944. The rise at 1.55 and set for Mars at 1524. Now Michael is numbered in the Greek concordance 3413 and it is my blood with three unusual chromosomes numbered 3, 4 and 13. Therefore my blood is Michael the warrior angel. 155 in the Hebrew concordance is Adareth, garment, glory, a prophet's garment. In Greek it's aithma meaning Petition, request, require, equals the attitude of humanity and depreciation in prayer is specially emphasised, viewed as the same prayer from perspectives of voiceless religions or the grateful acknowledgements of God's mercies, chiefly in prayer using Jesus' name. 1524 in the Hebrew concordance is rejoice, joy, a circle, age, in Greek it means to enter, go in, to go into. Now on the conception day, the sunrise was to follow at 6.12 and set at 17.49. For 657 minutes later, that is the same number of verses with the word Lord in the New Testament and the nuclear fusion rate of the Sun. 612 in the Greek concordance is answer and Hebrew to be taken prisoner and be tied in the bonds of Lucifer. Does that not describe what has become to the peoples of the world. 1749, the setting time in the Greek concordance is truth silently lying in wait in ambush. 657 in the Greek concordance means to bid farewell, take leave, send away, forsake, to renounce, withdraw oneself from anyone and Hebrew is ceasing, end and finality, all of which I have announced to the wicked in my judgment of them. Now at the moment of inception, Spiker position has the proof in the numbers. Spiker is the 16th brightest star and corresponds to Pi being the 16th letter of the Greek alphabet and pi at the value of 3.141 and a very long number but 3141 in the Greek concordance is a witness, a record and concerning future events. So pi as the witness, the Zionists had failed. We see Leo has ducked below the western horizon, you can see the Virgin on the left there and below the horizon is the head of Leo. You can just see the tail end of his body. It actually has a tree <laughs> in front of him. So we see that Leo has ducked below the western horizon. Five of the twelve stars are not seen at 2.22am leaving seven as the crown the king places 
upon his bride's head. In Virgo, she is adorned with 14 glorious stars, and her brightest is Spica. Yah has always referred to the Sweet 16. Well, there's a number it could refer to in his life. However, Spica is certainly one of them. And, of course, Pope Benedict is Benedict XVI, and he was born on the 16th of April. Getting back to the Virgin, however, her lower straight leg has three stars and her other bent leg has four stars. So the legs total seven and then the womb above the legs adds another four. Then her head has three for a total of 14. So add the seven of Leah equals 21 and is appointed to August the 21st solar eclipse of 2017. And there she is looking right way up, however upside down, if you're looking at the horizon and then on the right, the horizon, the right way up, and the setting of Leo followed by the Virgin. Spiker in her left hand, the sheaf of the left hand, the sheaf of wheat she's holding. So now here we've got over Bethlehem in 33 AD, April the 5th, Resurrection Day, 33 AD, to rise again, April the 6th, Australian time, 1943, so 1910 years later. It was the position of uh, uh, Jupiter and Venus, which was the star of Bethlehem. The conjunction between them was the star of Bethlehem. And Regulus equals the king, all in Leo there. Jupiter at 88,888 miles wide. Jesus is 888 in Greek Gematria. Now 2,000 years pass. The flood is the Judah Moses laws of the Christians the flood from the mouths of all the preachers, teachers, priests, ministers, evangelists, etc. All the flood of words set to devour Christ. But this time it's not the Son, it's the Father, God Almighty. And you can see the position there of Jupiter, its birth on November the 9th, 2017, after a nine-month gestation within the womb of the Virgin. And this was visible over Australia, the 9th of September, 2017. Looking in the centre, on the lower part of the picture, the raven, called Corvus, picks at the flesh of the serpent set to devour the baby with a flood from its mouth. But the baby is taken up to be with God and time moves to April the 6th, 1943. Now I have told the story why my mother's husband Reggie knew he was not my father. He was dumb but he could count. He despised me from when he realized on their wedding anniversary on July the 20th, 1943, that he was not the father, so he thought his brother Jack must be Daphne being pregnant on that anniversary, and that's when he realized, he, as he was counting, and <sighs> that he wasn't the father. So as it was World War II, the young men were off to war. Their ladies were very lonely. Reggie and his brother Jack were identical, very handsome men. The two wives made a plan to simultaneously throw them out if they did not stop their indiscretions. Ron told me that Reggie buckled as mum meant it. So Reggie took to smoking, drinking whiskey and visiting opium dens. Jack, on the other hand, moved out. For him, it was paradise. He died when he was 88.888 years old of acute exhaustion. Daphne's daughter, June Maria Ann, was born 
on the 18th of August 1938, so that we have another 888. From then on, Daphne was a target. They tried to kill her with kidney infections. 13 months in St. Margaret's Hospital. Then the doctors, the nuns and the priests advised her not to have any more pregnancies. She obeyed and became celibate. Reggie and Jackie were committing adultery. So as dumb as he was, he was knew, knew he was not my father, suspecting Jack. They spoke only once in my company, living just two kilometres apart. Not only was his hatred for Jack, but for me too, as I thought, as he thought I was his brother's son. So the conception date, the 1st of Nissan, 5703, April the 6th, 1943. The victory had occurred. I was here. Now the stars of her crown are the seven from Leo with five not in view. Spiker again is the 16th brightest star and the 16th letter of the alphabet is Pi. The Pi number in the Greek concordance 3141 is witness record testimony of future events. So on April 6, 1943, Spiker was over Sydney in the left hand of the Virgin holding the sheaf of wheat which contains seed. Seed is sperma, the word, the seed of God. It's sperma in Greek. A word in one's ear creates thought. 280 days after April 6, 1943, which is the first of Nissan, I was reborn. And the sunrise to sunset was 855 minutes, with the moon rising 33 minutes after sunset. Therefore, sunrise to moonrise was 888 minutes. Jesus in Greek, Gematria. On the day I was born, my half-brother was 8.88 years old, Jesus. Then I was 8,880 days old, living in Port Alberni, Canada, and it was May the 4th. 1968, when the sunrise to sunset was 888 minutes and my daughter, Tracy Lee, was born. She was conceived on July the 29th, 1967. The planet Jupiter was directly overhead for 888 minutes. So moving forward in time to what is now history, September the 11th, 2017, Jupiter had birthed it, the 888 number, representing the king planet, Jesus. So going back to the conception, April the 6th, 1943, being the first of Nissan, it is telling the world God had arrived. The numbers of Spica are witnesses. Virgo is over Sydney with her crown of seven stars given her by Leo, her crown as a wedding endowment. Quoting, and he had in his right hand seven stars, and out of his mouth went a sharp two-edged sword, and his countenance was as the sun shineth in his strength. The fourteen stars of Virgo and seven of Leo, and this was only seen over Sydney at 2.22 a.m., April 6, 1943. Conception Day. So from April the 6th, 1943 to September the 11th, 2017, when Jupiter was two days old, ha old having birthed on the 9th of September, I was 74.435498 years old. This is 3,883 weeks and 6 days, or 3,883.8571 weeks, or 27,187 days. In months of 29.53052 days, it is 920.64074 lunations. This is Bar Jonah equals son of Jonah, 
and is the surname of the Apostle Peter. 7.44 My age means that has been from the beginning, original, primal, old, ancient, of men, things, times and conditions. Relating to Revelation 10, 2 and 12, 9. Revelation 10, 2, quoting, And he had in his hand a little book open, and he set his right foot upon the sea, and his left foot on the earth. Then Revelation 12, 9, quoting, And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Another significant event that was the date that the solar system crossed into the northern hemisphere of the Milky Way galaxy on December the 11th, 2011. From this date until September the 11th, 2017, a distance northward of 3,478,428,000 kilometres, that's how far the solar system has travelled. In the Hebrew Concordance, 3478 is Yisrael. He will rule as God, a symbolic name of Jacob and of his posterity. In the Greek Concordance, it is Nazareth, the guarded one, the ordinary residence and hometown of Christ. And it's also the pin that the Commonwealth Bank chose to give Yah for his key account. From the 1st of Nisan until September, uh, so, or April the 6th, 1943, until September the 11th, 2017, just last week, the solar system has travelled 45,021,672,000 kilometres. In the Greek concordance, 4502 is from 5144, meaning a prince, crowned. 5144 is the number 30, as in 30 years old, or the number 3 of the Trinity. 1672 in the Hebrew Concordance means to take thought. As such, we are north of the Milky Way equator in the area where creation occurred. 450 is from 303 and 246, meaning to stand up, arise, lift up, Raise up again, rise again, stand up, upright. The numbers in Spica on Conception Day, April the 6th, 1943, at 2.22 over Sydney, are crowned. However, over Jerusalem it was daylight and could not be seen. Basically, creation has everything covered, but religion is the problem. Some of the numbers of Spica there, magnitude of 0.95 in the Greek concordance is wrongfully, then the RADA 13 hours 25 minutes, 1325 means bestow a gift, then 1322 teaching doctrine, 2318 is worshipper of God, and 2317 is godliness. The distance 262 means that fadeth not away in Hebrew and in Greek is declaration. 1244 is scourged as punishment. Now this is the sky over Sydney, Australia at the moment of my rebirth, which was the 11th of January 1944 at 2.22 a.m. You can see Virgo rising from the east, preceded by Leo and all 21 stars to be born. My rebirth into St. Margaret's Hospital, St. Margaret being my ancestor, she the great-grandmother of King William I, the Lion King of Scotland. So my rebirth into St. Margaret's Hospital was predicted by my life as Jesus. I lived one, two, three, four, three days until death on the cross. When multiplied by the value of pi, 
Pi, just the 3141 in the Greek concordance, means the witness or record or testimony of future events. So there, that, uh, there is the Pi number in its entirety, times 1, 2, 3, 4, 3 days, and the result is 38,776.6, and that long number there, divided by 10, however, and you have the exact location when measuring to the South Pole of St. Margaret's Maternity Hospital, 3877.66 miles. And 3877 is also the number of verses in the King James 1611 containing the word God. My rebirth home at 105 Rothschild Avenue, Rosebury, Sydney, Australia, measures 3875 miles to the South Pole. That number is the word comforter in the Greek concordance, and that is what Yar is today. He's the comforter, the Holy Ghost, the spirit of truth proceeding from the Father because he is the Father. In Hebrew, 3875 means covering. So too does 3877. Yar has explained many, many times that the Holy Ghost, which was the soul of Jesus, is now worn on the outside of his flesh body as his covering like a garment white garment giving immortality of body and soul. Now 3877 in the Greek concordance means to follow up a thing in mind as to attain the knowledge of it, to understand, to follow up a matter, to trace its course, to examine thoroughly, investigate, to follow through faithfully. That is a standard or rule to conform oneself to. And for those of you who have been following Yah's teachings for a long time or even a short time, I think you will agree that's exactly what Yah has done, to follow up a thing in mind as to attain the knowledge of it. Right from a child, speaking at two years old and then his experience with his own voice as an adult telling him to, and this is the obeying the commands of God, um, when he climbed the fence to the next door neighbour and rescued the little boy, etc., and then later as a, a small boy of 2424 two, days old, the experience of being taken back in time to Carmel, sitting on the synagogue steps, and Mary calling him, Jesus, Jesus, come, to tell him that um, they were Essene. And if the Jews at that time... Now, the Jews at that time, were, they had taken over the temple area, etc., but they were not of the tribe of Judah. They were the Esau Edomites who had taken over and uh, controlling the place. And they were called Jews, but they were not of the tribe of Judah. And so this is the beginning of the Jews who call themselves Jews and are not. So it was Mary who said to him then, we are Essene and if the Jews find out they will kill us. Now, the level-headed people living in the occupied territory of Palestine, calling itself Israel, far outnumber the Zionist Jews. Zionism is the most diabolically evil the devil could devise. Judeo-Christianity is all Pauline Pharisee, which is today Zionism. The scriptures are scattered into truth and deception, suggesting Joseph, Father Jesus. No, it was the Holy Ghost. The timeless Holy Ghost is dual. So from my human death, I gave up the ghost. We, as mankind, look from the perspective of time. But by removing time as a logical progression, we must look at the entire picture, ancient astrology, down to the present, and view it as a play written before the world existed. When we flick through the pages, the Holy Ghost is God. So we must view it from the original script, and how the Holy Ghost is read as the timeless father impregnating the womb of Virgo, who as a person is the Virgin Mary, conceiving on September the 11th, 3 BC, which was her 14th birth date. And then a second time on April the 6th, 1943, within the womb of Daphne Golightly Marshall. So the constellations pass the same locations with the Earth moving off line marginally due to precession. But scripture and a lack of understanding has combined events into one instead of two. The first event, Jupiter and Virgo, lined up near Regulus in Leo. 
it means regal or royal, as we saw in the previous slide. We know the priesthood of Judah had no idea the king would be born on June the 17th, 2 BC, live one, two, three, four, three days, die on the cross, give up the Father, who is the Holy Ghost, from within the body of Jesus, and via the cross, the death on the cross, return 1910 years later, in 1943, April the 6th. And here is what the night sky looked like once more. 2.22am, Conception Day, 6th of April 1943. You can see more here is revealed, the serpent ready to devour. And no prizes for who the serpent is in this day. The crab is in the southern sky. You can see the horizon there. Cancer below the horizon. The serpent is dipping below the horizon forward in time. It is if searching for the Holy Ghost which it cannot see. Jesus had been taken up, no longer seen in 33 AD. My rebirth was on January 11th, 1944, or still the 10th, in Jerusalem. In the Hebrew calendar, it was the 15th of Tevet in the year 5704. So you've got the crow picking at the serpent as it looks for where the Lord would be in 1943. This is Conception Day, April the 6th, first of Nisan, and means a new beginning. Again, the serpent is looking away and cannot see the new beginning. Conception Day. Now, the number of the Hebrew year 5703 in the Hebrew concordance means, once more, ever, everlasting end, eternity, evermore, perpetually, continuing forever, future forever of future times of continuous existence forever of God's existence. Again the crab is in the southern sky and we can see the serpent is dipping below the horizon. So this date here is Resurrection Day over Sydney, Australia. And so we read from that the crab is in the southern sky and we can see the serpent is dipping below the horizon 1910 years, yet unaware as Sydney, Australia did not exist. It dictates God has vanished, taken up to be in heaven. Revelation 12, 1 and 2 and then jumps 1910 years to Revelation 12, 3. So this is the sky over Sydney, Australia on Resurrection Day in 33 AD. April the 5th in Jerusalem. Here we have the resurrection showing where my soul was to be reborn. In the southern hemisphere, conceived on Nisan the 1st, the new beginning. But Lucifer is unaware the earth is a sphere as it was cast down from heaven to the north onto a flat region. And <laughs> so all the flat earthers are really nothing but Luciferians. So reading the Revelation 12.3 And there appeared another wonder in heaven and behold a great red dragon having seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns upon his head. Now this is Lucifer's Vatican. And his tail grew the third part of the stars of heaven and did cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman which was ready to be delivered for to devour her child as soon as it was born. And she brought forth a man-child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron. But this was given in 96 AD. John, from the Isle of Patmos, is seeing the future. He had no idea the earth was a sphere. The battle in heaven saw Michael defeat Satan, casting it 
and its stars or angels to infest the new followers of Jesus and finally become the Vatican. Jumping forward in time, Revelation 12, 7, and there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought and his angels, and prevailed not. Neither was their place found any more in heaven. So this is Jesus' victory on the cross, sends his own soul, which is God, back to heaven to expel the dragon. And then the future from 96 AD, John seeing the end but not understanding it, Continuing in verse 9, And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world, which is today Judeo-Christianity, or Judaism and Christianity. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God, and the power of his Christ. So this is happening now over time. Since the announcement of Pope Benedict XVI that Christ is back. The first time the announcement was made was March 12th, 312, the number of his name, Brian Leonard Golightly Marshall, aligning with the Revelation 312, which says, I'll tell you my new name, in the year 2013, which is 312. <laughs> Backwards. Thousands of scholars have translated the Bible Yet they do not mention the blood sacrifices were done away with by my death on the cross. The last lamb sacrificed. Christians are behind the Jews rebuilding a temple so that they can once more cut the throat of animals. Judeo-Christians are of the Moses mentality. Never will you hear Moses and the Temple of Solomon were evil by Christians, preachers and teachers nor do you hear that as Jesus, I said, no man has seen or heard God. If you have seen God, you've seen me. I could have said, heard God, as I was speaking. And it was the angels sent by God who revealed the word of God to the prophets. And this is who the glory of the Lord revealed in the heavens the stars, the sun, the moon, that's where the story is. Yahweh, Jesus, Brian Leonard, go lightly, Marshall.